This December, residents of the Greenville Central School District will vote on a proposed $14.48 million capital project that would include safety and program enhancements at the elementary, middle, and high school levels. The vote will be held on December 6th from 3 to 9 p.m. at Scott M. Ellis Elementary School. By using existing funds, this project would have no additional impact on the district's tax levy. This capital project has been in the works since the winter of 2021. The district's building condition survey, required by the State Education Department every five years, helped identify areas in need of attention. Additional input was provided by the District Facilities Committee and the Board of Education. As I moved into the position, the beginning stages of the capital project were set in place. The last capital project focused on upgrading the middle school and high school areas, as well as the athletic fields. While the results have been nothing short of impressive, now it's time to shift our focus to the elementary school. Originally built in 1932, the school is in immediate need of safety and security enhancements that would allow us to better safeguard our students, faculty, and staff. We're confident this capital project will do what we strive to do every day, and that's ensure a future where everyone can learn, teach, and belong. At the middle school high school level, this project would include a much needed art suite renovation and expansion, roof restoration, ventilation and balancing upgrades in the metal shop, asbestos abatement in the high school band room, and exterior masonry restoration. The first thing that comes to mind is this room is really small and the furniture we have is awesome, the students like it, but when there are bodies in the desks, it is impossible to maneuver around them or go in between to help students. This causes a problem when they need my help or if the students need to get out of their desk to get materials, um, any sort of navigating around the room becomes extremely challenging. At the elementary school, the project would include safety and program enhancements. Classroom renovations would consist of enlarging the pre-K classroom and adding an in-class restroom, as well as enlarging undersized classrooms and renovating the front wing classrooms to feature new technology, upgraded floors, extra storage, and in-class sink, and new furniture. When this building was constructed in 1932, lecture style was the norm. Boys and girls focused on their teacher at the front of the room there was a chalkboard, desks in the middle, and a small coat closet in the back. That's not the way our classrooms work now. Right now we focus on integrated learning that focuses in on a collaborative model. This capital project will create spaces that are more conducive for teaching and learning in the 21st century, and ultimately better prepare our kids for the future. The capital project would also create first and second floor corridor connections to the exit stairs by the current art and music rooms to ensure student safety in the event of an emergency. To make more room for resource and learning spaces, the art room would be relocated to a larger area on the first floor. The music room would be relocated to the existing multi-purpose room, and the existing multi-purpose room would take the space of a brand new addition constructed off the back of the new music room. In addition to much needed program enhancements, many of the mechanical, heating, and ventilation systems at the school are past or nearing the end of their useful lives. This project would replace boilers that are over 30 years old, restore areas of the roof that require repair, upgrade 40-year-old classroom univents, address exterior masonry restoration needs, and add more electrical receptacles to keep up the growing demand of technology use in the classrooms. If funds allowed, this project would replace the old cafeteria and auditorium, heating, ventilation, and air handling systems at the middle school and high school. At Ellis, the rear wing classrooms would be renovated to complement the front wing classrooms. The doors and hardware on non-classroom entrances would be replaced to ensure a cohesive design throughout the building. A copy center would be created by renovating the storage room in the cafeteria, and the guidance office would be relocated to a larger room on the third floor, while the old office would be transformed into a new staff restroom. Pending voter approval, planning, and state education department approval, it is estimated that work would begin in May of 2024 and continue through November of 2025. Greenville Central School District has a long history of being fiscally responsible. While the district would issue bonds to pay for the project, approval of the project would result in no additional impact on the local tax levy. New York State would provide reimbursement for approximately two-thirds of the project, 
and the remaining one-third, otherwise known as the local share, would come from the Capital Reserve Fund and an existing budget line item to cover the principal and interest payments. For more information, please attend one of the upcoming Q&A sessions on November 14th from 5 to 6 p.m. in the Middle School High School Library, or November 29th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Elementary School's Large Auditorium. You can also learn more about the proposed project in our newsletter and on our website. Please remember to vote for the Capital Project on December 6th from 3 to 9 p.m. at Scott M. Ellis Elementary School. For absentee ballots, please contact Daphne Pearson, the District Clerk. Thank you! Thank you for ensuring a future where everyone learns, teaches, and belongs. Spartan Strong! Spartan Strong! I am Spartan Strong! Spartan Strong! Spartan Strong! We are Spartan Strong!